this morning we were talking about the discipline of iconology, which is the study of images across the media. So images that move between television, painting, photography, sculpture, uh, the digital image on a computer, uh, and uh, what is involved in the study of those kinds of images. Uh, how to interpret meanings, how to track the way they move from one place to another, uh, how they affect us emotionally, intellectually, cognitively. So uh, all aspects of iconology. Picture theory uh, is a kind of double meaning. On the one hand, we construct theories about pictures, uh, that they are signs by likeness, that they have certain effects on us. But I'm interested in the way that pictures themselves can theorize uh, themselves and other things. So that pictures become a form of theoretical discourse in their own right, and not just a kind of uh, inanimate object that has to be explained by language. My talk this evening will be uh, about uh, mental illness and visual culture, uh, about the way that uh, madness, insanity, uh, and all of the f forms of mental illness have been represented in the visual arts uh, and the literary arts uh, over the many centuries, from ancient times to the present, uh, with a special emphasis on cinema and the representation of mental illness in the movies. The future of the image is uh, very interesting and complex. It's uh, taking place all around us in the uh, the turn to digital imaging, uh, images circulating on networks. Images have gone viral uh, in a way that was impossible with earlier technologies. And they've also gone viral in a kind of literal way, in what I call a bio picture, uh, in which we make a living copy of a living thing. Uh, for thousands of years, people dreamed about this, but with contemporary biotechnology, it's possible to make a living image and one that is really alive, not just uh, an imitation of life. So it's a very revolutionary moment in the history of uh, human image making and uh, nobody knows where it's going, but it raises all kinds of new ethical and political issues. Uh, that's why I'm an iconologist. I want to turn fear into critical attention, uh, a kind of wariness, so that it doesn't just become unfocused anxiety, but um, it put your fear to good use.